So we're going to try to bring in some more information as we go, but the information we have now is a breaking news story that Dr. Atu, uh, Kesel Atuforsin and businessman Richard Jakba have both been acquitted and discharged in the ambulance procurement trial, which has been going on for quite some time now. It was a court appeal decision by two to one majority just this morning. Uh, you'd recall that the Court of Appeal um, has, in a unanimous judgment earlier, thrown out the appeal filed by the first accused in the ambulance trial, um, Dr. Keselato Forsen, in which he alleged that the charges brought by the Republic against him were defective. This morning, he has been acquitted and discharged alongside um, alongside businessman uh, Richard Jackpot. We have just been joined by another legal practitioner who was on the case, um, a friend to the station, Eduji Tamaklo. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, good morning to your viewers. Great. Good morning. It's great to have you. Where are you in court this morning? Hello. Hello, Eduji. Good morning. Thank you for joining us. Where are you in court this morning? Thank you. Yes, please. Uh, what was the atmosphere in the court when the ruling was, oh, was given? It was calm. Okay. Calm. Completely calm. calm. Okay. With apprehension. Okay. Can you can you clarify us exact uh, clarify to us exactly um, who are you representing in this matter? The honourable two forces. All right. In that case, congratulations to you. Thank you. What does this decision mean to your client? He has always maintained his innocence and the vindication came to bear. The interesting thing is, with my senior, Dr. Irene, we took him to Yoko during the investigation. And from November 2017, when we went to Yoko, they never called us again until the e levy law was passed. And the then ranking on finance, on about two forces, stood up against it. The e uh, was in the budget of 19th November. 25th November, we were invited to Yoko that they are taking us to court. So we have always had in mind that there was no basis whatsoever for this trial. And today, with the support of the Almighty God, our position has been vindicated. We are exceedingly grateful to the Almighty God and their courts. All right. Uh, congrats to you one more time. Now, during the trial, some accusations were made against the Attorney General for engaging in some underhand no, dealings. I, I do not intend to go into that. You, you don't want to go into that? But you don't know what I'm going to ask you? Or you? No, 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 no. I do not want to You don't want to talk about it at all? Anything about the Attorney General or anybody. We went to court. The courts, by majority decision, in their wisdom, acquitted and discharged our clients, the honorable case of Atul Force. We are pleased with the outcome of the court case, and we are exceedingly grateful to the court. Okay. Now, when this story broke, I, I saw a question online, um, which, which I just think I should share with you. Now, the, the Court of Appeal has acquitted and discharged you. Does this mean that you no longer need to go back to the High Court for another discharge, or th this is it? The no, case no, no, is no, over? No, 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 no. Right. The decision of the Court of Appeal Trump's is the decision finding of the High, high Court. All right. Counsel, if I may ask you, what would be your next line of, um, you know, action? Because I was speaking to lawyer Martin Pebu uh, just a few minutes ago, and I asked him that, per legal advice, ideally, with today, everything today, that has happened, today, today, what would be the next line day, of action? Today is a day to thank the Almighty God. Tomorrow Are you going to file we'll a lawsuit against the Attorney General? Tomorrow, we'll think about what next, but today, we are thanking God for this salvation. In deciding on what happens tomorrow, is there a possibility of a lawsuit filed against the Attorney General? Let tomorrow decide that. Okay. Okay. You, you seem to be very calm this, this, this morning as well. Really, for you, what's going uh, through your mind? I'm, I'm, the calmness is as a result of a huge surprise. Surprise? Why do you say surprise? I don't know. I don't know. It came to me as a huge surprise. I mean, look, you have no idea. 
I'm, I'm so grateful to the Almighty God for what has happened. When, when you say surprise, are you saying that you were not expecting that for some reason your team would become victorious or emerge victorious in this case? As for, as for the work we have done, we're absolutely sure. But nobody knows. And today, this is what the outcome. So we are exceedingly grateful to God. How, what is Kesala Tufos's demeanor at the moment? He's calm, but I said that he has parliamentary work to perform. And so he's basically rushed back to parliament to perform that task. Mm. Is, is he in the right frame of mind to handle court proceedings? Because even just speaking to you, you seem to be in a different zone altogether. Yeah. So I can just imagine what he might be going through. He's, he's, he's a strong man. Mm. To be, to be, we'll tell the story one day. But today, you let You, you let, have the platform let, now. I was hoping yeah. that you tell the story now. <laughs> no, 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 no. Not today. Today, mm. today is for Thanksgiving. Okay, I guess right. Sunday will be an all-white service as well. Yeah. Well, <laughs> but, but before you go, uh, before you go, um, Eduji, I just want you to tell us, um, in, in in a sentence or so, what this judgment today means for you as a legal practitioner in terms of our, our, our judicial system and, and the processes which an accused person, we, like, we, like your client, you know, has the, gone the through. Judges what does it mean for our democracy? The rule of law, fidelity to the law, fidelity to the law, fidelity to the law. That is the only security we all have. All right. That is the only security that we all have. And in the opening statements of the judge, the majority, they affirm this hallowed principle of law. And that is all. Mm. Fidelity to the law and the rule of law. Uh, let me just ask this quickly. I mean, off the top of your head, what do you think was that one moment that truly defined your victory today? No, for me, even whilst I was in the court, I'm sure if you are taking my blood pressure, <laughs> it was quite, you know. <laughs> mm. but, but ultimately, ultimately, the quality of work we put in, we're very confident. Mm. But, 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 but sorry to cut you. And thankfully, it did happen. Okay. And we are extremely grateful to God. But if you have to look back and choose one particular moment or one evidence that you used, um, which may have led to this ruling, which one would you say it is? Both from your side and okay. probably we, from we, the no, legal team of to get, um, the entire judgment. I think mean, that will provide a basis how the court can to the court. Would you say that, you know, that audio recording... Um, that was put forward in court between no, Richard the, Jackpa and... No, the audio the recording came... Remember that this particular appeal, at the time we mounted this appeal, mm. the issue of the recording had not even come in. Okay. Mm. So it couldn't have had any influence whatsoever. So you see, this is how it operates. Mm -hmm. So in a criminal trial, the prosecution's burden is to establish the key elements of the offense. Mm. So in this particular case, the prosecution called five witnesses to come and tell their story and the elements of the offense. Okay. You understand? Mm -hmm. <coughs> so now what happened is that after the prosecution called all their witnesses, we made what is called a submission of no case. Mm. And told the child that all the witnesses the prosecution brought, they could not establish the key elements of the offense. And therefore, a prima facie case has not been made. Mm. And the judge came and said she had read what we have found, and she believes that a prima facie case has been made. So we should open our defense. Mm. Her decision for us to open our defense is what we appeal that is. Okay. You understand? Mm -hmm. And today, the court of appeal said her decision for us to open our defense was wrongful in law. Okay. She said That's it was wrongful happened. in law. Yeah. I see. And that, and that the prosecution did not prove or establish a prima facie case against the two accused persons. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, so what I'm trying to understand now, and for, for many people who may not be legally inclined, I mean, one of the most popular moments was when that tape was um, adduced as evidence. We all listened to it. And so everybody would want to find out 
no, what no, no, happens no, no. with they that came, as well? They came, came, they came, came after we opened our defense. Okay. In this particular scenario, the court of appeal doesn't really know what happened. Mm. All they are interested in is what happened until the prosecution said we have closed our case. Okay. Uh huh. That's what happened. So, so, but it was ad it was admitted into evidence, or are you saying that is for the high no, court? No, no, no. So no, that's a no, separate. No, no. Okay. So I want you to understand something. Mm -hmm. So you see, in a criminal trial, so now I'm taking you to criminal law class. Thank you very much. We need to understand that. Uh -huh. So the Constitution in Article 19.2c says that an accused person is innocent until he's proven guilty. Uh -huh. Now, that responsibility to prove their guilt is the responsibility of the prosecution. Uh -huh. Now, the law allows an accused person to do what is called submission of no case after the prosecution is done closing their case. So in this case, the prosecution called as many as almost five witnesses. And after that, we said, the charge against on our two person mm. and the element that you need to establish have not been established. So there is no case for us to answer. And we put that before the high court. Mm -hmm. And then the high court said, no. She disagrees with us. And that the prosecution had made a case, so we should open our defense, which we did. Mm. Now, that decision for us to open our defense, we said, look, we have a problem with it. So we appeal that decision. Now, guess it. At the time the prosecution closed that case, all these recordings and others was not there. Mm. Uh -huh. So that's what it is. Okay. All right. Uh -huh. Well, well. Yes. at this point, I, I believe that we can let you go so you can also handle thank other issues. You. But thank you so much thank for speaking you. to us. And again, congratulations so, to welcome. you and your team. We'll, we'll connect further to get further understanding on midday news. Yeah. Um, but yes, that was lawyer Edudi Tamaklo, and he is on the legal team for the minority leader, Honorable Keso Atu Forsen. And if you just joined us, um, we have that breaking news for you that the case um, has been dropped against um, lawyer Keso Atu Forsen, well, Honorable Keso Atu Forsen and Richard Jakba in the ambulance trial case that has been running since 2021. And so you heard from him, he's in a very somber mood. He says he's actually surprised. Um, he wasn't expecting this rule, even though they had put in the work. And so, um, I mean, regardless, Honorable Keselato Forsen is on his way to Parliament to continue with today's work. And uh, we'll get some more information on that. But that's the latest on this matter. And we'll give you some more updates when it's time for midday news from 12 p.m. And so this is where you ought to stay, TV3, uh, for all the details. And we'll run through our entire program. In, and so look forward to all the news um, yeah, programs as we run along. But I guess that's where we wrap up today's edition of TV3 New Day.